Welcome back to the place of maturity, the place where I am giving you the knowledge of a 39-year-old man who graduated high school 21 years ago this month in 1999. What are the top 10 traits of an attractive man, a valuable man based on society outside of high school? Forget about cheerleaders and football players and popularity contests, homecoming queen, what kind of shoes you wear, how well you do in sports, what you look like. None of that matters once you graduate high school. And I'm eager to help you get over here to the other side. So we're halfway through this series. Now we're on the sixth thing out of 10. Society judges you. They give you value based on you being committed. Being committed is very important. It's a way that society decides who the real men are in this world. We all know the cliche, how's your relationship with your father, right? Because if your dad abandoned you, or was abusive, then that's gonna have probably some effects on you. So how our own fathers treated us, where is our own father there for us? Mine definitely was and, and set the perfect example for me with my kids, my son. So for me, I've been married nearly 12 years. I worked at the same company for 12 years until they went out of business and then I been at the new place for two more years. I stick around, my dad, same way. Just a couple weeks ago, he retired from the same company after working there since 1979. He and my mom have been, have been married since two years before that. So my dad set an obvious example of staying committed and making things work and figuring things out. And that's the way I've been brainwashed, to be committed to things. Society rewards that, they honor that. It's funny because even when you think about US presidents, up until, see, Ronald Reagan, 1980, he was elected. He was the first U.S. president to have been married before. He was briefly married to another actor a long time ago. Uh, and then Donald Trump, it, it took, what, 30 years later for another president to be elected, uh, or actually 40 years, right? 40 years later for another president to be elected who had been married before, Donald Trump on his third marriage. But other than that, we look at all the U.S. presidents, we're, see, that's what, when society, votes for even our leaders, our political leaders, is he committed? They judge you on that. You're, you're often judged on your commitment level to your job, to your family, to your relationship, these sort of things. So being committed is one of the most attractive things that people can find in a man specifically. Because also like the other one that says, he's decisive. And when you're decisive, you act on that by staying committed to your decisions. And granted, at some point, you may have to renegotiate how you perceive things or change things a little bit. But it's a matter of that whole concept of a lot of this, you know, familiar idea that the dad doesn't want his son to, to quit the sports team or his dad doesn't want the son to quit the job just because it's hard. He wants him to stick with it because that is setting the tone for the rest of his life. So there you go. You got comments. I'm happy to hear them. They go right here.